What a face. Well, that was nice. Stopped in last night at the campground here and bumped into Tiffany in Nowhere. Nowhere is a first time hiker this year. And Tiffany, I met actually on the Appalachian Trail in the Smokies in 2019. So uh, it's uh, pretty cool to reconnect. He's hitting the CDT this year. Bravo. Get on out there, brother, and have a good time. And wish you safety and a safe trek. And it's, what is today? It's Tuesday, February the 11th. Got the face rinsed off, hair rinsed off, and we're heading for White Springs. Let's see how that goes today. And word has it, there's a nice little place to stay that's affordable. And showers and outlets and power and all that good stuff. And we're going to chill down there, hopefully. And uh, Papa Romy's doing her quick little morning pee, and we're going to go here. You full of energy this morning, huh? Good. Yeah. I'm just finishing the blue blaze out of the campground. Heading to the orange blaze. It's going to be a beautiful day. Hello. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, baby girl. Right, I had an email come in and someone was curious about how to deal with lead pulling from their dog on trail because they want to use a leash but they're constantly dealing with lead pulling. Well, if you pay attention here right now, you're gonna see how to do that. And this is, I've almost never found a dog this didn't work on. All you gotta do, the harness we're using, by the way, three point harness. The two points, they're in my book, they're worthless because the dogs can slip them right over their heads. Three point harness they can't get out of. Anyway, back to the task here. On this harness, there wasn't a clip in the front. So I just twiled in some rope, made a spot to hook to. And if you can hook to the center of that chest, zoom out here, there you go. So if you can hook to that chest, what's gonna happen? Go on, pup. What's gonna happen is when they run forward and they start to pull, it's gonna automatically twist them right around 180. I'll see if we can get pup motivated. Come on, girl, let's go, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Get your mobile aid on. Come on, come on, come on. So what happens right here, boom, see that? So if they run forward and they go to lead pull, just what happened here and I showed you very lightly, they're gonna spin right around and you will correct that habit almost instantly. So good luck, uh, try this. Let me know in the comments how you made out and I hope you enjoy your hike. And again, retractable leads are the way to go, I mean, Boom, click, you're in control and tight. Click, back to freedom, 16 feet, all the way around you. I got a hook to the pack, to actually to the frame. I got a rope going up to my frame was the most solid spot. Then just a quick clevis, works really good. And that way you, your dog, can have a safe hike, leashed, and everybody around you that doesn't want to deal with your dog off leash won't have to. All right, enjoy your hiking out there.
It's like we got a little road walk today, pup. It's okay. Nice calm road, meadows in the background. All kinds of good stuff going on. Yeah. Nice light breeze, got out of the woods. Boy, it was humid this morning in the woods. Got out in the road and got a nice light breeze. And relaxing. A little rough on the paws, ain't it?
I forgot to mention in the past, these filters do get a little airbound if you're gonna gravity feed. So if you give just a little gentle squeeze, very gentle, because you don't want this thing to start leaking out. A little gentle squeeze to get it started. Um, that'll get rid of the air inside the filter right there. And if you do it with it, actually with the filter standing upright, it's even better. So, and these will leak right here every time. So don't squeeze these very hard at all, mostly for gravity feeding. You hear that? What is that sound, pup? What is that? Oh, we got a little campsite. This is nice. Yeah. Oh, we got some rapids. Check that out. Right on. First rapids on the Florida Trail.
today. Hot today. You know, a trail hasn't changed in a while when the tree starts growing right over the signs. <laughs> Love it. Yeah, it's a bench. Lots of benches on the trail. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, got a head knocker and a bridge in one. Ooh, go on there, kiddo. I got a duck. Whoa. Okay. Yeah. See that moss I was talking? Not moss, ferns, excuse me. It grows on these oaks, the swamp oaks, and now they're all happy with that recent rain we had and these heavy dew mornings, and they're all woken up and alive. Do, 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 do. It's hot today. It's like 85 degrees in the shade. We're both a little pooped. Isn't that right? We're both a little pooped. It's hot. Lots of water and lots of breaks today. Bench. You are correct, that's a bench. Hello. The downhill? Not used to uphills and downhills, are we? Hmm? You even got a pine cone rolling. <laughs> oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Down and up. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah. Definitely up. Yeah.
like somebody moved in. But they've moved out since. Yeah. Must be a Dollar General shopping cart. <laughs> yeah, Dollar General. Yeah. They can come get it if they want. I ain't pushing it. <laughs> Alright. Were you sniffing everything? Yeah. Happy girl. <laughs> Happy girl. Hmm. Well, we took the traditional way. It's a long way. We could have cut out two and a half miles, but we decided to stick to the trail. It's not too bad. Been a real nice walk. The air is cooling down. A nice day. Hot, but nice. Pup doesn't know it, but I got a surprise for her. Imagine that. Didn't even know what was going to happen. Got a deer. We are in at White Springs B&B. We got a private little escape in the corner. And Pup has her own little pen area to chill out and stretch her legs if she wants. But she's into <laughs> zone mode. But we got a completely private room with an overhead fan and power. We're good for the night. And we just got told there's a big meal going on. So we're getting a bonus dinner. Yum. Can't wait. And we're staying here for a zero tomorrow.